A ver qué trama. Chao. ¿Qué hablas de Chao aquí? Hey, yo. What are you doing here? Huh? Chao? Are you here for the festival? I have no interest in Lantern Rite. I sensed a malign influence here. I'm here to investigate. When a shackle is loosened in the realms of deities and demons, I take full responsibility. But this time, the threat comes from the mortal world. Your world. Thus you shall take full responsibility, hmm. mortal traveler. When the time comes, I hope you shall act promptly and decisively. I do not wish for the tassel of the polearm that has slaughtered countless demons to become stained with mortal blood. What's this? A symbol that your suspected evildoer left behind. Doesn't look familiar to Paimon. Well, you will have to show me how much you can accomplish on your own strength. Because if I become involved, there is a possibility that the streets of Liyue Harbor will be painted red this lantern right. Well, that sounds terrible. Uh, let's not be impulsive. Why don't we figure out the origins of this symbol first? The one the suspected criminal left behind. Oh, Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that Kaya will know something about it. Ella? ¿Qué diantres tiene que ver Kaella con esto? Oh, sí, es la constelación de Kaella. El dibujito que está viendo la constelación es similar a la de Kaella, no es, creo, igual, o al menos es más grande que la de Kaella. Well, well, long time no see. Hmm. Kaya, we went to the lantern right in Lile. Ah, well, how was it? Fun? Delicious. Well then, you ought to be looking forward to Mondstadt's Ludi Harpastum. I'm sure it will be to your liking. Right, right. Kaya, there's something we need to tell you about. Ya nos está adelantando un evento. Hmm, lantern supplies. Stockpile of wood, paper, and oil. At the very least, it sounds like an accident waiting to happen. No, you know. <laughs> How very amusing. What makes you think I would recognize this symbol? No, lo sabes todo, yo eres digno de confianza. Suele cuidarte con los malos, así que déjame saberlo. Ah, ah, you should watch what you say, honorary knight. Que me amenazas, te parto la cabeza. The dark side. The knights of Favonia certainly does not have dealings with its enemies. That has to do with a certain knightly virtue called integrity. This is the symbol of the cross-border criminal organization you know as the Treasure Hoarders. If you are curious to know more, I can put you in touch with an informant on the inside. Uh, didn't you just say the knights of the don't have dealings with their enemies? This is my own personal informant. Nothing to do with the Knights of Favonius. A little later, make your way over to Windrise. I'll arrange for the informant to meet you there. Thanks, Kaya! Oh, and remember, wine begets wisdom. Huh? Imro. Huh? Have you hablado antes con Imro? Hey, you're the guy, right? Kaya's informant? Informant? <laughs> Not me. But this is the place we agreed upon, and you're the only other one here, so... Place we agreed upon? <sighs> I know nothing. Ugh, stop being so annoying. El vino está la verdad. Okay, yeah, it's me. How was any of that even slightly hey. necessary? What do you want to know about? Here's the situation. Okay, I see. So, what can you tell us as an insider? Hmm. I do not think this is the work of the treasure hoarders. The reason the treasure hoarders are able to sustain a giant cross-border operation is because they abide by one fundamental principle. Caution. 
Softly, softly, catchy monkey is the name of the game for them. By contrast, the idea of taking huge risks to try and make a fortune is utter folly in their eyes. Li Yue has the Adepti looking after it, doesn't it? And they're especially active during the Lantern Rite. There's just mm -hmm. no way that we, uh, sorry, they, <laughs> slip of the tongue, when you've been undercover as long as I have. <laughs> uh, where was I just now? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, there's no way that they, the treasure hoarders, would dare make a move during the Lantern Rite. Also, the treasure hoarders organization in Liyue recently received an anonymous letter. Why would someone send them an anonymous letter? <gasps> Trying to frame them, perhaps? Nobody knows. But what I can tell you is which branch of the treasure hoarders has the letter in their possession. Uh, <laughs> there. I've marked their location on the map for you. Great! Well, Paimon thinks this was productive. This is our only solid lead. Let's not waste it. If there's nothing more, I should get back to treasure hoarding. Uh, I mean, get back to those treasure hoarding lowlifes hmm. to uh, spy on them. <laughs> vale. ¿Qué tienen que decir esto? Sorry, pal. Wrong way. <laughs> Wherever you think you're going, it's that way. But isn't that the way to Leeway Harbor? Right. Here is nowhere. So the other way is Liyue Harbor. If you're looking for somewhere to stay, I suggest you go to the Wangshu Inn. Fair prices, great customer service, and a wonderful view. How do you know about the letter? Uh, one of Liyue's adepti told us about it. Mm. Did they now? I somehow doubt that. You should not doubt it. It was I who sent them to investigate. Ooh, Any mierda. further questioning, you may direct to me. <laughs> Did you just appear out of thin air? You're the vigilant Yaksha. Hey, watch your tone of voice. Or do you seriously want to pick a fight with an Adeptus? I see it's a fight. Okay, okay, it's not that we don't believe you're an Adeptus. It's just... Everyone needs to look at the bigger picture here. As you well know, mm. we treasure hoarders are no serious threat to anyone. We're petty criminals, that's all. So, if you are truly an Adeptus, please show us mm. some mercy, would you? Of course. If it turns out you're not a real Adeptus... Then please, don't blame our weapons for treating everyone equally. Ooh, hermanito. Yaksha te va a reventar, mano. Hermano, están fritos. Please, my heroic friend and adeptus buddy, have mercy. The letter is drivel anyway. It's not worth an armed conflict. Just take it. How about that? Kaima knew it all along. Hmm. See what they wrote. I see. Then let us send these two to the meeting. The sender may be plotting something truly diabolical for the Lantern Rite. It seems they want to burn down the entire city. Great, everyone's happy. <laughs> You're good, we're good. However... Hmm. These two, they don't look anything like us. It'll be fine. When we're in disguise, no one will be the wiser. It still seems like a long shot to me, but with the help of an Adeptus, hopefully everything will turn out fine. Hmm. Well, the safety of Liyue is in your hands now. Good luck. Even the treasure hoarders don't want to see the city burned to the ground. Then it is settled. Oh my God. <sighs> what is it? Cuando nos veamos de nuevo. Huh? I am not partial to crowded areas, especially at this time of the year. When this matter is resolved, come to Wangshu Inn. In previous years, the Mingxiao Lantern has been visible even from there. Hey, hey, 
Did he go back to Wangshu Inn already? But the time mentioned in the letter, that's today, isn't it? Come on, let's go to the meeting place. Paimon wonders what the sender of the letter is planning. Ah, este pelotudo. Hola. All right. You folks from the treasure hoarders, yeah? I thought I insinuated in my letter there that you should have done like I done and put on a mask and a costume and so forth. But it seems you didn't all get the memo. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. Gutsy. Hmm. Well, guess what? We don't need to go sneaking around everywhere wearing disguises because unlike you, we would never do anything so shameful that we would need to wear masks while doing it. Uh, really? I was in the middle of my speech and everything! <laughs> I'm being sick. Simplemente eh, le gusta disfrazarse. En realidad me está comenzando a gustar. Wait a second now. You folks ain't no treasure hoarders. What game are you two playing? Tell us your diabolical plan now. Okay. I, I give up. Hmm. Give up now or I uh, I'm just a lowly apprentice thief who really looks up to the treasure hoarders. Uh, yeah, for a greenhorn like me, especially working on my own and all, oh, the treasure hoarders, oh, man, they're my heroes. Okay, if I buy one. So I thought I'd try and set up some sort of lucrative opportunity and submit my pledge of Super loyalty. Bugazo. Ah, lo que dice tiene sentido, dice Paimon. Yo me esperaba que un pirómano en serie Arson. sería peor. ¿De qué estás hablando, dice? Es bien, Paimon, te vio mirando la montaña. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Entonces, solo estaba inspeccionando el área. I was only checking the place out. My plan ain't got nothing to do with those magic materials. ¿Serio? Pero ¿cómo sabes que no tiene nada que ver con los I just wanted to nab me the biggest chunk of plaza trite in 20 years, is all. I was gonna wait till nightfall. Ya me parece que no quisiera cortar las cuerdas y dejar que flotara hacia el mar. Then all I'd have to do is find some way or another of bringing it down, so I could hide it under water in the shallows. The perfect crime. Well, I was still in the process of figuring out the details, hence why I hadn't made my move yet. She's a pain. El viajero le entrega al ladrón no sé qué cosa le entregó. Hola, Jerry. Traveler, word spreads fast. <laughs> We will keep watch over the thief. Thanks for your help. Looks like the Ming Xiao Lantern will be ready soon. <sighs> A critical juncture. We cannot afford the slightest interference. Rest easy. Word was passed up the chain. Another group of very capable troops have been brought in. They're dressed as ordinary citizens. You wouldn't notice them in the crowd. If anyone dares make a move, they'll be on them in an instant. Esperamos. Uh, that's sorted then. You two get some rest, we'll take it from here. Enjoy the lantern rite in peace. Gracias. So, Paimon supposes that's taken care of then. Ojalá, ojalá Shao también pudiera venir a ver. Wishes so too. Guess he won't make it this time. Wait, do you remember what the inspiration for the Ming Xiao Lantern was? Yeah, so if it's modeled on an adeptus, maybe Xiao would be interested this time. On the day the Ming Xiao Lantern is ready, we can meet him at Wang Xuan like he suggested, then try to persuade him. Uh, even though he said you can see the Ming Xiao Lantern from Wang Xuan, we should get up close if we want to get that fest. Yes. Y vamos a ver qué carajo nos tiene que poner Chao para que nos liberen la tercera parte, ¿vale? A ver, Chao, ¿qué tienes que decir? So is the matter resolved? Ah, sí, Good. eso es lo que. De verdad no nos habrán no. entrado. As I said, I am not partial to crowded areas, especially at this time of the year. Hmm. 
eye bracer. <laughs> a Ming Xiao lantern, nonetheless. A fleeting creation of human hand. It means nothing to me. Ah, qué cagón if eres. short-lived spectacle is one you wish to witness, I suggest you go to the city. Oh, he really won't go. Unless... Let's go find the boss. She might have a few tricks up her sleeve. <laughs> Sounds like you and Xiao took care of business again. <laughs> Word certainly got around. The news even reached us here. Ah, <sighs> and yet another year's lantern right will soon be over, and he still won't go and take a look. <sighs> well, well, all all years, and I've never seen him attend the lantern right. I'd go as far as to say it'd be easier bringing the festival to him than the other way around. <laughs> Bring the festival to him. Yeah, if Xiao won't go to the lantern right, then let's bring the lantern right to him. No, I didn't get right in harm with it. Surely you realize I was joking. How would you bring the lantern right to him exactly? When we were in the city checking out the festivities, we learned how to make Xiao lanterns. We even found a food stall serving local delicacies. So much tasty food, so many pretty Xiao lanterns, not to mention. Um, what else? Oh, the bygone heroes, his old friends! Aren't those the heart and soul of the lantern, right? You're not wrong, but where would we set all that up? Now that you mention it, I wonder. We need enough space to set up our own stall. Huh, there might just be enough room below the inn. Hey, let's take a look and choose a space. I believe I know the kind of stall you're after. Vale. There should be a few styles we can reference. Let me think. Here's Here's not too bad. And it's safely away from all the foot traffic. Hmm, fitting choice. Oh, we've got ourselves a nice spot. Now we need to build a proper stall. I've thought about it, and I believe I know roughly how to go about it. If you'll excuse me for a moment, I'll try to figure out where to start. Mm -hmm. and oh, yeah, they're voila! A little rough around the edges, but it should serve us well. What do you think? Oh, There's no big deal. Just a little bit of DIY that I picked up years ago. <laughs> I've forgotten most of it, actually. <laughs> well, we can Pero... check the stall off our to-do list. <laughs> it looks quite festive decorated with that Shao Lantern, wouldn't you say? Vale, pues ya está. Well, yes. But in my generation, it's just the norm for everyone who grew up in Liyue. Anyway, speaking of festivities, no celebration is complete without a feast. <laughs> Do you know what you would like on the menu? Almond tofu, that's for sure. We've eaten it for Xiao before. Almond tofu and grilled tiger fish. Huh. <laughs> what an interesting combination of flavors. I'll have a word with Smiley Yan Xiao. He should be able to rustle those up in no time. Luckily, the inn's pantry contains all the necessary ingredients. Oh, it's about time to summon our honored guest. Could you fetch him? The food should be ready by the time you come down. What now? We've had the talk about crowded places. Do not make me repeat myself. Best you go alone. What is that supposed to mean? You yep. brought the festival to me? Okay, so there's a bunch of delicious snacks just laid out below the inn. And a bunch of Xiao lanterns. <laughs> and there's practically no one else around to have to worry about. <laughs> Hey, también preparando su comida especial. So this is what you meant by bringing the festival to me? <sighs> is there no end to the peculiarities of human behavior? Gracias, bastaría, Shao. Is that so? <laughs> Human motives defy my attempts to fathom them. Fathoming more eating. Come on, dig in before it gets cold. Mm -hmm. Okay, Pyman's gonna concentrate on eating now. <sighs> now that we're done with the most important part of the celebration, we should be heading out to see the Ming Shao Lantern. You may take your leave. Mm. There's nothing for me over there. 
Yeah, the Ming Shell Lantern may not be your thing, but surely there's no harm in taking a walk with us. The road from here to Liyue Harbor is long and full of dangers. <laughs> we <laughs> need someone to ensure our safety. Nobody says you have to enter the city. You can just see us off at the outskirts. Uh, <laughs> so be it. I shall accept your proposal. There you go. All right, time to hit the road. Che paimon siempre gana. This is as far as I will go. Please see yourselves into the city. What now? You are obviously one of the heroes this festival is all about. Why don't you want to get involved? I detest the rabble. Mm -hmm. No cares in the world. So peaceful, so joyful. They are nothing like me. Too slaughtering, accompanied by the burden of suffering that follows in its wake. Crossing paths with all those jubilant people will only make me. That's all I have to say. Ah, my monkey. Farewell. Are you really so enamored with such trivial amusements? Hey, this is a legitimate festival, not some trivial amusement. <laughs> <laughs> legitimate. Enough. Go watch your lanterns, but stay vigilant. Keep your eyes open for any menace. If you find yourself in trouble, anywhere, anytime. Whether yours or Liyue's, I hear all cries for help, all prayers for peace, and all the wishes carried by the lanterns. Hmm. Vale, y ahí termina la tercera parte. Así que bueno chicos, espero les haya gustado. Hasta aquí termina el rito. Creo que es la tercera parte del rito. Nos vemos hasta la próxima. Yo me despido. Y eh, cuídense, salgan de su princesa, échenle muchas ganas de sus tuyos. Nos vemos.